Hello and welcome back. So today we're looking at my latest purchase from the Royal Mint, the UK's latest and newest £2 coin, which I'm really excited because I love £2 coins. I also have a couple of giveaways to draw from secret giveaways and one not so secret giveaway from um, the Change Checker Olympic Ch uh, Coin Tuber Challenge uh, from last week and also from last week for my Alice in Wonderland uh, coin review. I had a sneaky little giveaway in there as well. I've left it as late as possible to record this video so that I get as many entrants in as possible. Uh, we're going to have a look at, that, at the giveaways after we've had a look at the bunk coins so let's start off by getting into it we're going to get rid of the invoice off camera because i don't know what information's <laughs> on there christopher and editing make sure you check frame by frame there's nothing on there right so we have got this ship the silver proof in here and then this one let's get out of the box is the bunk so walter scott so for those Unaccustomed, a bunk coin is a brilliant uncirculated coin. It is a coin that is struck to a higher quality than the circulating UK coins, um, not intended to be put into circulation, um, and hence why it's a bit of a higher quality coin. But there we go. It's very, very nice, isn't it? So it's Sir Walter Scott, novelist, historian, poet, 2021, the 250th anniversary of his birth, which is quite exciting. Now, some of you may recognise this coin because we had it way back a long time ago in the annual set it was one of the coins that we found out so we got the definitive we got the queen's 95th birthday decimal day hg wells john Luigi bird and sir walter scott i'm not sure what's going on with the packaging of this it seems to be really scuffed now bear in mind this has come out maybe three times in the year so yeah again i'm not sure quite what's going on with that but Anyway, a story for another day, I think. Pop this off to the side because we don't need that anymore. But no, this is a lovely, lovely coin. As I said, I have a bit of a leaning towards £2 coins because I think they look stunning. Um, but a nice little Scott looks like... I would imagine this is a Scottish landscape because Sir Walter Scott being Scottish himself. Which again is nice that we are celebrating things in the other parts of the Union as well because it's very easy and very commonplace to celebrate things that are English, but uh, we are the United Kingdom. So it says, Sir Walter Scott, highly regarded as a significant influence on many of the prominent writers of the 19th century. Sir Walter Scott has inspired this two pound coin design by, intention, by, by internationally renowned textural, textural artist, that's a word, isn't it? Textural. I was in textiles, duh. Uh, Stephen Raw, name rings a bell, actually Stephen Raw, uh, widely considered to be the pioneer of the historic Scottish novel. Uh, Scott is renowned for his storytelling talents and stirring poetry and his writing uh, made for a significant mark on Scottish identity by romanticizing a forgotten past. Uh, as we know, lots of these things are pretty standard. The edge inscription, the will to do the soul to dare wow i like that the will to do the soul to dare very nice obverse naturally created by jody clark as with all the other coins that have been circulated since 2015 when the fifth portrait of the queen took over reverse designer stephen raw stephen raw the name rings a bell i can't quite place the name though but there we go it's a wonderful wonderful coin now, we're going to have a look at the silver proof in a moment, but as I promised, giveaways. So we're going to start with the Alice in Wonderland, because that's the first video I put up. So Change Checker kindly sent me uh, four of their Change Checker packaged bunk coins. So this is the first Alice in Wonderland coin with the Cheshire Cat. Uh, and three of them were, given, were being given away to people in the comments of that video. And now for those of you asking, oh, I didn't see that that giveaway, sometimes I sneak little giveaways into videos. It's normally product reviews, so make sure you watch everything if you want to get in on the giveaways. I've got three of those. Grab my tablet off to the side. And we have the URL on a random comment picker to the video that was the um, Alice in Wonderland one. We filled to duplicate users so that everyone gets one entry no matter how many times you commented. And we've got a total of 301 entries. So if you win one of these giveaways, you can contact me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, 
and there is an email address but the email address things get lost in that in inbox so try not to use that if you are one of the lucky winners do comment down below where you're going to contact me that makes it a little bit easier painting down where you where i'm going to find you and um if you're not one of the winners of the the, the different prizes i'm giving away <laughs> yeah but just change on that <laughs> um don't feel uh, mis disheartened i'll have more giveaways in the future for sure and i'm sure you'll all join me in congratulating today's lucky winners so the first winner of the first of the uh, Alice in Wonderland coins is Carrie Brimble who says wow what a lovely coin I have just been given an Alice in Wonderland framed print so this is definitely a coin I will need to be adding to my collection great video my favorite of the three is the colored version so perhaps I'll treat myself to an upgrade well there we go very very cool Carrie Brimble our first winner uh, pick another winner so winner number two let's I'll just zoom out a little bit is 10 bob oh a very frequent comment so i recognize the name great artwork i prefer the change checker colors well there you go you prefer it and now you've got yourself one so be sure to contact me soon and the last winner of the alice in wonderland set is none other than it's having a moment bits and bobs he says hello i would like to say that i really like your videos so keep them up thank you well thank you very much and there you go you are also another winner so um be sure to contact me soon i'll, go, I'll say you've got a fortnight to get into contact with me. If you don't contact contact me in a fortnight, they'll be redrawn. Then we have the change checker. I'm going to show on this camera, which is a bit easier. The change checker. This is the Olympic set, so uh, the Olympic com completer challenger set. Which, if you uh, saw the 50p video I did with the other coin tubers, you will know all the bits and pieces that come in this a mystery Olympic 50p a completer a change checker completer medallion, which is very very cool. Um, the book itself, the inserts, and the pages, um, and one lucky winner is going to win themselves one of these so let's just change to the other tab because we're very technologically advanced over in Christopher collects naturally so again we'll filter by duplicate users or not let's try again filter by come on you stupid thing let's try that again we'll refresh the page there we go that's more like it I had to say I was technologically advanced, didn't I? We've got a grand total of 366 comments. So again, we'll scroll down. Okay. Can we get this out of the way? Oh dear, what have I done now? Stop, stop, stop. Okay, we're not getting rid of that stupid thing. So, <laughs> okay, we'll just scroll up to show you. There's the URL. There is it filtered by duplicate users. So every commenter, no matter how many times you commented, got one entry start drawing the winner and again let me know down in the comments where you're going to contact me winner for the change checker book is jane jones who says excellent i shall be watching to see who wins well there we go and congratulations to the channel that naturally won our little competition but so there are all the winners of the giveaways a big thank you to change checker for reaching out with the idea to do the olympic uh, challenge but also for sending us these awesome uh, collectors uh, albums and the completion challenge uh, competition medal which I think is very very cool anyway enough of that we're gonna get into the silver proof which as ever I'm very excited to get into because I think silver proof two pound coins are beautiful now I don't need that box so box is pretty standard it is the Sir Walter Scott 2021 UK two pound silver proof coin oh that's beautiful isn't it what does it say? Weaver of words, inventor of identity. Ooh, I like it. There we go. Let's get into the box then. Have a look at the coin itself. Ooh, if we can, it's a bit idiot proof. There we go. We're in. We're gonna have a look at the little booklet first. As ever, I will flick through slowly. If you want to pause, is that the first page? It's a thick first page, isn't it? If you want to pause and read at your own uh, leisure, leisure, whatever it is, Feel free to. I'll try not to cover up everything with my thumbs. So there's the man himself. What I always like in these booklets that every now and again, in most of them, they have a little page that says a bit about the designer and why they picked the design that they picked. It's normally towards the end of the book, so I'm always disappointed if it doesn't include that. But there we go. Loads of information I will read at some point after the video because I'm sure you don't want me to all to sit here reading every single page the will to do the soul to dare the lady of the lake oh look and it's made with support of the Abbots Ford Ford Trust there we go was there there wasn't any behind the scenes or inside the creators was there 
Uh, I don't think so. That's a bit of a shame. Because as I said, it's always quite fun being able to see what it was that was in the designer's mind. Hmm. Shame. Oh well. Let's get into the coin itself then. This is the proof in the pudding. There we go. I hope those marks are on the casing and not on the coin itself. Yes, it's definitely on the casing, that's fine. <laughs> Momentary worry about that, but no, it's just a bit of schmutz on the actual case itself, but no. Very, very cool. I just think silver proof tube hang ones are beautiful, aren't they? They just, the, the gold plated outer parts of the coin just absolutely pop and really contrast that beautiful silver insert in the middle part of the coin. And I love it when the coins, or the two pound coins spread across, so the, the design leaks out of the inner part of the coin into the outer part of the coin as well. I think that's very, very cool. But again, you just get a bit more detail on the silver proofs. They're very, very cool. We'll look at the obverse, because we didn't get to see the obverse on the bunks. I don't open my bunk packs because I have issues. There we go. Reverse, obviously Jodie Clark's portrait of the queen. But wowee, that is absolutely lovely, isn't it? Very, very cool. Well, I'm very happy with that. I, I will. I always am with with two pound coins. I think if you looked last year, I did my 2020 coins in review. I had to check the date there. The <laughs> make sure I was talking the right year. And the top, I think five was um, very much lots of two pound coins. They're just they're just lovely, aren't they? And it's a real shame that um, we seem to be getting less and less two pound coins. Hopefully, we're going to get some more two pound coins before the year is out because we've got plenty of time. We can't just have two two pound coins, can we? Surely not. Surely not. Right, certificate of authenticity. Let's see. Hello, number we've got number 1322 out of a maximum mintage in this presentation of 1771 so again very low mintages on these two pound silver proofs similar to like the five pound coins some of them are very very low minted um obviously a maximum mintage of these silver coins just over two and a half thousand i would imagine i think that obviously in this box, so this type of presentation that I've opened and shown you today, there is 1,771 of them. Whereas uh, the other ones that have been minted, I imagine might be in the Silverproof annual sets. I'm not sure how many of them were made. I don't tend to buy them, so it could be. But as you can see, the inner alloy is um, 925 silver. The outer is 925 silver plated with fine gold. But no, very cool. I love that edge inscription. The will to do, the soul to dare. I very much like that. That's a very, very cool quote. But there we go. Lovely, lovely stuff. Well, let's have a side-by-side -side contrast. <clears throat> I lost my bond coin there for a moment. But there we go. Both stunning, beautiful coins. And I think it just demonstrates in the silver proof that little bit of extra quality you get. Look at the design on, on the water scotch, Sir Walter Scott, I should say, himself. Um, you get a little bit more detail in the silver proof, and I like how the wording pops a little bit more in the silver proof. But a coin that uh, would be a lovely coin to have in circulation. Hint, hint. <laughs> we are it's, uh, uh, rumored to be getting a new two pound coin in circulation, one that was minted, um, or ones that were minted in the financial years of 2019 spanning 2020. So uh, potentially the VE Day anniversary, maybe a Britannia. Um, maybe some of the 2022 pound coins who knows uh, time will tell and hopefully uh, they're going to be amazing and um, I'd imagine they'd be fairly low minted although they might not because it was such a long time since we last had a circulating two pound coin so the jury is out that is purely my um, my guess is my guess work uh, I don't know any more than you unfortunately I wish I did uh, although I wouldn't be able to tell you if I did would I so maybe I do but I don't trust me why are we getting down this wormhole? Anyway, um, congratulations to the winners of the giveaways. I'm sure you'll all be in contact with me very, very soon. Um, I'm sure you'll all join me in congratulating them on their wins and uh, stay tuned for more giveaways, especially those secret giveaways which I hide away in videos, so you don't want to miss out on them, so make sure you watch everything. <laughs> but do let me know what you thought of this coin, which is your favorite, the bunk, the silver, what have you bought? Are you going to buy it? Uh, where are you going to buy it from? It's always interesting to know. But as ever, all that leaves me to do now is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye!